guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a mom, a wife, and a believer. Today, guys, I want to tell you a story, like a story of me growing up, uh, me stepping out from home, going to varsity for the first time. How was it? How was the experience? And all that. I want to link that with um, my motivations to you because I've heard so many people saying, How do you keep going? Like, how do I ensure that in whatever circumstances that I find myself into, what is it that keeps me going? So I just have five reasons you shouldn't give up in life. All the five. So let's get right into it, guys. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing my, my content. So yeah, story time, guys. Um, when I left home, Vele, I'm not coming from a rich family. When I left home, my mom has to had to look for clothes for me in her own clothes. So my mom gave me some of her clothes to wear at the varsity. I didn't have new stuff. I didn't have um, luxury or like that. When whenever I get to the varsity, I'll have to go buy things, pods, clothes, bedding, everything, including food. I we, we had to share, like, Uguti, when I get there, I don't have that thing, Uguti, I'm going to varsity, so I need to go and shop for varsity. We didn't have that money at home. So when I go there, when I got there, him lawyer, wearing my mom's clothes, and life is normal to me. I'm not even looking for something new because this is what I have. So in uh, my first year I was I was staying at um, the flats in town. So staying there, go right, go go. Like it's a two minute walk from my my flat to the to the school. Yes, any coming back, going to school, coming back, cool. So me living in the flats for the first year of for the first semester of the year. And then the second semester, my oldest brother said, eh, eh, come back home. Came back home. By home, I mean his house in, in, in the surrounding of Durban, the township in the surrounding of Durban. So I stayed there with his family and like everyone. And I had to travel. Remember, I was staying in the flat and it was just only two minutes walk, even a minute, I think, from my flex to the school. So now I had to catch a taxi from... Claremont to Durban town. Ay, 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 guys. Life was hectic. Like, I got mad every day. Every day of my life. Zai is laughing at me. And I always tell them when they say, we're going to Durban. So, Mina, I'm not going. Like, I'm not even going to stop by and buy anything. Mina, I want to go home straight home. The way it was so traumatizing to me. So Mina, in Durban, I got marked every day. Like, my phones were taken every day. It seems like those that knew when I have maybe an extra 10 rands, they'll come take that man. They'll come take my phone. Eh, like, I didn't even want to go to school. So I ended up quitting the course that I was doing because like it had, I, I, I had so much anxiety, I was so much stressed. And um, I couldn't cope at all because whenever I go to school, I had to attend every day. Whenever I go to school, I'll meet people along the way from the rank to school. I'll meet thugs. They want my phone. They want my money. So I wouldn't have money to go back home. I wouldn't have my phone. Or if I don't have my phone, they'll ask me where is the phone. So it's like, Jay, the, the, I, I was the victim. I, I was the only victim around them and maybe. So, I created the course and I started something new uh, with UNISA now. So, but then such things, as much as I was not going to school every day, but whenever I go to school, something funny will happen. Like, I, someone will try to rob me again or I would lose my money. So, Devin, thank you very much. You've been so kind to me, but thank you. I'm fine. So... With all that said, Uti, 
I'm a child and tribulations. When I was in Nisa, I opted to go back home. Like home, 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 home. With my mom, do my, 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 my assignments and submit it in my nearest Unisa, which is Richards Bay. Because now um, I was studying with Unisa, so there was, there was no need for me to be away from home. So I went back home, stayed with my mom, submitted my assignments. And I, fo I finished my first qualification. Couldn't get a job. I went and sat in um, a new qualification. Finished that qualification. It was a short course. Uh, it was a short course. No. Um, oh, there was a job. Like a leadership kind of thing. I was an EPWP. So. And then I had to further my studies in line with what I started. Okay, the reason I'm telling you guys this story is because I I want to answer questions that says how did you handle things? Because it's not like everything has been smooth and everything has been all jelly and lovely. I have cried in my life. Like I have cried in such a way that I would even take up the tears and see if it's still tears. It's not blood. I have starved in my life i've been hungry and i've been stranded trying to make it in this life I've, I've i've slept in the queue at school trying to get in as fast and it rained i was wet from head to toes my boot had water but the reason I did not give up is because I knew that no one would give me what I want to obtain in life. So I have just made five points for you guys to relate into your own uh, challenges that you might face in your life and um, things that you can see. It's okay. These are really, really obstacles in my life and I think I should just quit whatever that I want to do. Do not quit. Do not but so that is what I'm saying to you, which is do not quit. So I made this five points, so I'm just going to read one and then clarify it to clarify it. So the first one that I, I did was no one is coming to rescue you. Reason you shouldn't give up in your life is because no one is coming to rescue you. In a serious note, no one is coming to your rescue. If you don't do it yourself, no one will. If you think you are doing what you're doing for someone, you are wrong, you're doing it for yourself. If you ban school, if you don't attend classes, Zai is laughing. If you ban school, if you don't attend to classes, if you 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 weigh things um, that are there to entertain you is more important than things that should sustain you in life. You should know that no one is coming to rescue you. Even your mom, your mother had a life, your father had a life. No one is coming to your rescue. You need to do it yourself. Point number two, there is always a solution to any problem. Trust me, if Gitty, I've been um, hungry in my life, I'm not, I'm not even joking. If I'm telling you that I've, I've slept outside trying to, to figure out what is it that I want in my life, I'm not even joking. So, with this said, there's always a solution to any problem. Mind you, whenever there is a problem, which means there is a solution, the only thing that you need to do is to focus and stay focused on whatever that you're doing in order for you to find a solution. Do not say, I now there's a problem here, I'm living here, I'm starting here. Now there's a problem here, I'm living here, I'm starting here. So that is just me saying, whatever things or whatever obstacles that you, you come across in life that are there is problems in your life. You might not have money today, but the reason or the solution for you to have money is for you to start something. It's for you to, to look for something that can give you money. I don't know if I'm clear. And um, number three, stop wishing and start doing. 
by that I mean the more you you wish and wish and wish is the more you keep on mission but you need to start doing something I have a teenage daughter in my house and she always complain about not having money and sometimes I just ignore her not that I don't hear I hear her perfectly like she'll complain I mean I don't have money what a, what a, what a, what a. so I said to them you know what let's play a stock fell I always encourage them to sell to save let's play a stock fell mama where am I gonna get money you will earn the money in whatever chore that you, in whatever extra chores that you do around the house I give you money Get to Google, let's play 150 stock fell per month. Yes, 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 I'm in. Yes, 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 I'm in. What? But the trick here is that, remember these are girls. They are supposed to wash dishes. They are supposed to clean the house. But if I see that they went an extra mile, and I was not even involved in that extra mile way, I, had, I have to say and babysit someone, to, no, pick up this, no, dust here. There you deserve money, I'll give you money. I'm saying to them, stop wishing, start doing something. The more you, 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 rather start so many things so that when you start, you know that you are focusing your, your, your energies and your focus is more on things that will give you smart returns tomorrow. So, number four, if you are able to help others, you will be assisted in life too. Tiwa. So, the more you are willing to help other people is the more you are planting branches for your own life because you don't know when you might need help and where you might need help. So, the more you're helping people, you might get a puncher somewhere and then that guy, people, most people, they call them hobos, but those homeless people who are staying on the roads, if you are there, maybe ning ning, you just go there and drop some food. You just go there, give them some jerseys. You don't know, maybe tomorrow there's some person who you are helping today. When you get a punch on the street one day and there are soldiers who are trying to rob you, that will be the same person who might help you. If you help, that might be your angel tomorrow when she, get, when she grows up. When you, you, you help Ukokomtala, those are the blessings that are just coming your way. So the more you help people, is the more you are being blessed. Or is the more you are receiving from God or from whoever you want to believe into. But the more you give, is the more you get. And then, what gives, number five, what gives life's meaning? It's a struggle that we live through. As much as we cry and we cry so hard, but the same struggles that makes us cry every day, those are the things that makes life the way that it is. Those are the things that remind us where we're coming from and where we want to be. The same struggles that you are facing today or the same struggles that you faced on the, pre on the previous day are the struggles that are here to build you, are the struggles that are here to, to make you the person that you have to be. Like I said at the time, I slept outside the school the other day, we were queuing for NS Fast Loan. So I stepped outside, it rained, like the entire rain r rained on me while i'm standing you can't move because once you move out from the queue they'll say you are no longer on the queue so you need to stay on the queue until the sun set the following day and today i am thankful to the ns first scheme for giving me an opportunity to to obtain that bursary because if it wasn't for them because my mom didn't have money at that time for my school fees anymore and i was only left with one year so I am truly grateful. Those struggles, they made me who I am today. Those struggles are the marks or are the stepping stones that assisted me into building the life that I want to live, into living the, the life that I wished for 
or imagined before so those are the things that i want to share with you guys Uguti. whatever that you go through uh, in life do not give up keep on pushing following these five topics that i've made or points you know that you don't need to give up even if you are selling sweets in the corner of the street it's good for you to do that because no one will come to rescue you if you stop selling those sweets who will give you that money that you were obtaining who will give you food at the end of the day so whatever that you need to do do it with love do it with passion and do not forget to be to be patient with everything that you have and have faith that it will turn out to give you exactly the same um result that you wished for remember perseverance is the mother of all success so keep on doing and keep on believing that it will come right and everything will fall into places thank you for watching and i love you so much please keep on doing what you do best viewing my videos liking my videos and commenting so those who haven't subscribed please subscribe on my youtube channel and do follow me on my social networks um sponi at sponi underscore m on instagram and um sponi lempele on facebook just a normal girl from the neighborhood peace thank you